YouTube, YouTube. Stop right there. You guys serious? I mean, you guys serious? We hit 500 subscribers. On this, on this channel, right here? You guys are crazy. Oh man, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this is me basically throwing love at you and this is you guys uh, taking none of this shit. They're like, dude, just start off with the video. <laughs> but you know, uh, it's been a nice journey. It's amazing. We'll just keep going. Thank you all so much for supporting this. Um, I can actually finally dream of hitting a thousand? Is that what you guys are telling me? Like by the end of this year? Because we are getting a lot of subs really fast, really in. So I guess you guys are enjoying the content? So cool. I mean, it warms my heart. Thank you guys again. So uh, if you notice my video schedules, uh, these are like I usually post on Saturdays, right? Uh, but uh, because we hit this milestone, I couldn't stop myself. I had to make, you know, a video for you guys. So I usually on my milestone videos tend to make uh, the Google, uh, Google, what the heck? What the, YouTube, YouTube play buttons, guys. Just, just ignore my stupid. Uh, so, you know, I have this, like, I, I don't know if I will ever get a play button from YouTube, right? I mean, how much do you even need? Like, how much do you guys usually, uh, YouTubers need, dude? I don't even know. Oh, uh, maybe a hundred K? I don't know. So somewhat like that, right guys? So something like that. So, you know, hundred K is impossible. <laughs> it's, it's, come on. Let's be honest, it's straight up impossible, at least for this channel. I mean, I, uh, I, I don't know how far I can take this and stuff, but you know, uh, let's say 100K is like the minimum, right? I think you get some kind of play button for that. So uh, what I do here usually is when we hit, uh, you know, oh, it's so hard trying to find the stupid option. Okay, I'm just uh, all transforming this, guys, so that, you know, we get this zero value here. Yeah, so like I was saying, so, uh, you know, it's so hard to hit those. So what I do is when uh, we hit a milestone on our channel here at Trendetez, uh, I kind of 3D model our own play button. <laughs> I know, I know some people are like, oh, my. I know some people are like, oh my God, this is so stupid. Why is he even doing this? He can't even get a real play button. And that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we are trying, right? At least. And all this is, this this play button, which I'm modeling here for, you, for the channel is for you guys, right? I find happiness modeling this and actually putting up in a video. And, you know, I can see this later on and say, yeah, I did it. I do have a play button. And we all are artists here on my channel. We are all 3D artists, so we love this, right? I mean, if you guys started a YouTube channel, right, and it's actually doing well, wouldn't you guys want to make this, right? So something like that. Uh, and for all the people who are like, no, I wouldn't make this, shut up. Shut up, just shut up, <laughs> okay? Uh, okay, cool. So you guys saw how I made the base, right? Just the cube, expanded it. Oh, uh, one more thing. My throat is really hurting uh, since morning. I don't know why. And I, I wasn't going to make this video, but you know, it's we hit 500. So I was like, okay, let me just push myself just a little bit, try to get this video out. It's gonna be a very short one, guys. So I apologize for that, but you know, I had to get this out. Thank you guys again. So uh, this cube here is the YouTube button. And I'll just go on the top view here. Press T and then X, align this, right? We'll just align that here. Cool. And then just go to object, apply. You know what? 
here I'm going to show you. So all transforms, just right click. You see this add to quick favorite, just click on that. Now, if you select the object and press Q, if you go onto your quick favorites, you can see all transforms, right? And on the right, do you see the transform? There are values on it, so all that becomes zero, right? That's what we want. And then I'm just going to say orange, origin to geometry. God, I can't even speak. Okay. Go to edit, select these. We're just gonna make our own button, play button for this. Uh, control B, let's bevel that, right? Let's just add some loops, and then select this face, Control B. Perfect, something like that, object mode. That looks cool, but you know what? Let's just, Let's just make it a little sci-fi. What do you guys say, right? Let's just be different because we, on this channel, create different stuff. We create original stuff. So let's go here and let's uh, activate our, uh, you know, hard ops guys, press D. Go into the end gone and I'm gonna select slice, right? With this selected, I'm just gonna click and drag randomly just like that okay click here and hit space and it should cut right through right we'll cut that here cut one right here Ooh, that's too bad okay sorry control z escape control z just wanted to cut this here bring this down right here and then click and then hit space to cut right so we're just creating this broken uh, play button kind of thing I hope uh, it'll work out but let's see so over here we can give this final cut here there we go okay all random I'm just gonna keep all random cuts so it looks interesting there you go, look at that. Dude, that doesn't look bad at all. Okay, now uh, what we can do is with the polygonal tool already selected, this one, these two. So this is this line, this is cut again. I'm just gonna hit control. You can see that it snaps, right? And remember, you can change your snapping properties here. It's snapping to 0.1 meter, so you can make this smaller if you want fine tune. But if you hold control, you can see these, this square here, guys, is 0.1 centimeters. Was it centimeters? I forgot. Oh, 0.1 meters, right, so it's 0.1, okay? So I'm just gonna come here, click, and while holding control, you can see that it snaps. Okay, perfect. So just remember how far this is. So it's one, two, three, four, five, five cubes. We come down here, which is three cubes, come down again, three, and you can see that it's a perfect triangle. So click on that, and then hit space. Ta-da! Okay. Oh, but we will come here to ever scroll. Click on that. Push this a little up. Right. Move that up because it was all the way through, right? We don't want that. And then hit edit mode. And just select this edge. Select this, this, this. Control B. There you go. Look at our play button. All sci-fi. Oh yes and now we select this and G and X no Y yes perfect there you go is that center I don't even know uh, that looks center okay I'm just gonna hide my cutter yeah you can see that look at that play button oh that looks perfect okay uh guys we need to go wireframe frame mode and then select this uh remember our snapping stuff i always set it to vertex and then make sure only move is here not rotate or else it's gonna be weird and then close this there you go perfect now you can see that this is the indent of our frame here let me show you there that indent 
So just press G, Z, right, to move it. And then when you come down to this indent, press Control, and you should see that it snaps to the surface. Right, there you go. So we just wanted it uh, to be snapped perfectly. There you go. Uh, and you know what, guys? I just realized if I select this and this, and then hit N, go into Tool maybe? What was it? Item. Yeah, Item, Align Tools. And you see that this is the X axis. I want to align the location on X. There you go. And then it pushes it to the center. Right? Oh, uh, if you guys don't have this, it's a preference thing. Edit, preference, add-ons, search, align here, A-L-I. You see this object align tool? Just enable that. Okay, cool. And it should pop up in your item view here. Awesome. Now that that's done, da -da 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 -da. what what else do we add? Okay, so usually a YouTube uh, this this button has a few text more. So that's the main button here. Let's add some text. Right, which will make it look good. Um, wait, how do you add text? I forgot. Uh, so control A, go to text here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Awesome. So rotate it on the X, hit 90, there you go. The text, G and Z, bring it up because we want to edit it. So, and then go to edit, there you go. Okay, what do I write? What do I write? I love you guys. Okay, I don't know. Don't, no. <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, so we'll type in congratulations. Okay, let me just zoom up. Okay, oh, um, can I edit this? To center oh yeah here it is okay yeah so alignment I want it to be center right and the text looks fine looks clean so congratulations uh, do we keep everything capitals I think so right to the render test family there you go that's that's perfect so let's just go to object mode cheesy ta-da okay and then this will be on top of our button right i'm just gonna push this on top even more um shift d to duplicate hit Z just to align it here press tab edit on so this will be below below the play button on reaching 500 and then we'll just go here subscribe how does that look? Cool, right? So we'll just go to object, select this, go to edit, remove that, go to object. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm typing that up. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Uh, so I'm going to select these two. Press R because you want to rotate it. And then uh, you want to rotate it on the Z. So press Z, just like that. Look at that. Okay, and then hit 90. And that should snap it this way because we are going to put this on the on the surface of this, right? So once you do that, press R again, press Y because you want to rotate it just like that. And then hit 90 again. Oh, uh, you see that it's opposite. So hit backspace, backspace, and then hit minus 90. There you go, see, right? I'm going to go on top. Oh, before we do that, let's let's fix this. So if I select this, I remember you can add thickness to this, guys. Uh, was it in font? Font, this is size, right? Okay, so underline position, underline thickness. What is this? 
Oh, okay. This doesn't do anything. Don't touch this. Uh, maybe in geometry. Ah, there we go. Extrude. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Okay. So, yeah. It's on extrude, guys. And you see that there's a weird shading issue. Just hit Q and wait. Was it Q? Oh, it's still text. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to see how we fix this because this is still text. I want to make this into, you can see that it's text. I want to make it into geometry. And how do we do that? Let's see, object. Oh, there's something called convert. Oh, convert to mesh. Oh, please work. Did it work? Oh yeah, it's mesh now. So if I hit Q and sharpen, look at that, it's gone. Oh, perfect. Awesome. So let's do the same thing for this, right? So geometry, this was 0 0.03, I believe. Yeah, and then object, convert to mesh, and then Q, and then sharpen. There you go. Okay, let's just go top view here. I'm just gonna press S, bring that down. Oh, look at that. And it's perfectly center aligned. So I'm just gonna go here. Congratulations to the render test. Bam! And then I'm gonna hit this. S. There you go. And then I'm gonna hit G and X to move it. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so now we can select these and then push it down, right? Bring them down here and then G and C. Oh, uh, you can see that it's too thin at the moment. I'm just gonna press S and C, just make it thick, just like that. G, Z, there. Uh, you guys remember, we go to wireframe, select this, press G, see and then hit control so that snap there um, G Z and then hit control there you go perfect okay uh, the thickness is still a little bit low guys so I'm just gonna improve that so S Z make that thick and then G Z and then snap right good object mode. oh look at that okay not bad wait this is still it's a little small I want this to shine a little bit more make it bigger there we go perfect uh, now that this is done, <laughs> what do you think we can add more? Uh, I think this is simple enough, right? But I did want to do one thing. I just realized this frame is very boring. So let's just go to edit mode. Make sure you select this down face and shift I, I believe, or control I. Control I guys. Oh, control I is to inverse your selection. So if you want to, if you did not want this face selected, but everything else, so you select the face you did not want and then just hit control I and you see that in, it inverses the selection. Press X and then just hit delete faces. There you go. It's deleted, right? So just go into object mode. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna uh, edit this now. So let's just go on top. Hit D, make sure these are selected, and let's just bring in cuts. Ooh, I knew it. Something funky is happening here. Okay, here, let me go to operation. Uh, no. Let me just hit a solidify first. 
okay and then just hit smart apply okay perfect now we have a plain frame right let's uh, edit this now hopefully it works so D make sure those are selected now let's just go and da, 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 da. oh dude okay question why is it just shouldn't it cut it all the way through am i missing something where is this oh oh why does it have a boolean and an auto smooth shoppers okay okay guys i'm com completely wait wait a second yeah it's working right so then if i just select this oh that was a funky <laughs> sorry that was my bad that was a funky shape oh yeah look it's working ah oh, stupid okay why was why was it not working this here okay now now it seems to be working look at that Look at that frame coming into shape now. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Whoa, is that too much? No, that's perfect. And a smaller cut here. There we go. Ooh, this one is a good one. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Oh, make sure you select the object. Only then can you start moving or else it won't take it. Uh, cut there. Oh, look at that, guys. That's much better than the old one, right? It, it has more this thing to it. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna hit sharpen for that. Uh, before I do anything, oh, it's going to solid Q. I'm just gonna switch off wireframe. Yep, I knew it. It's not. Um, you can see that you can't see the hard edges here. It's because of the sharpen. So if I hit shift, I believe. No. So you can see it there, right? So if you hit left mouse, it's just sharpen. And shift is auto, yeah, shift is auto smooth, but it's interactive. So I'm just gonna hit shift and sharpen. And there you go, see? Now I can control the, you can see at the bottom of the screen, it says auto smooth. So if I go too much, you see it smooths out everything, but then now it's just, it's just calculating everything. See, look, all the sharpness is being calculated everywhere. Perfect. Now it looks good. Check this out. See. Okay, cool. Now our play button is already looking fabulous. I'm gonna select this Q and then wait. Wait a second. Smart apply. Tab edit mode. Select face. Select this face. If I hit I, does this work? Oh, look, it's so beautiful. Awesome. I love it. Uh, we're gonna put in the frame just like that. And then holding Alt, I just clicked next to this edge and it selects the edge loop, guys. That's how you select a running edge loop. Press E, it's true. Hold Shift for finer adjustments. And bada beam, bada boom. That's it. Look at that. Oh, you can see that the shading is completely messed up, right? So just hit this and then recalculate and reshop is control shift. And there you go. Bam. Fix that. Or you could just hit uh, shift and just manually fix it. Okay. I think that's the best. Oh, now it has a frame around it. It's, it's a funky, <laughs> funky looking oh, play button from YouTube. But you know, I would take this any day, dude.
This is amazing. Awesome. Perfect, guys. This is done. So what I'm going to do is let's texture this. Oh, and I'm going to show you something uh, pretty cool, right? I'm just going to open this and there is basically a website called colors.co, right? I highly recommend this. It's not a sponsored thing. It's not a sponsored thing. It's just what I use right just go to exploring trending palettes right and there look at this look at this beautiful color palette here right so basically you can just select any color here and if you just click on it it just actually copies the code as well which is pretty pretty cool okay so i really wish i was doing a live stream i would ask you guys you know which color it is and maybe you know the few people who are watching my video would tell me but just bear with me. I'm just going to select something simple, guys. I'm just going to go very vibrant. Like, I'm just going to select this color palette here. Okay, I hope that's fine. So what I was thinking is, see, if I just click on this, you see this check mark. So it says it's copied. Go back to Blender, right? And then hit uh, Z and go to Material Preview. There you go, right? So I'm just going to select this, go into Materials here create new and then call this frame hit on base color go to hex click on this and then control V and then hit enter Ta-da! that color just comes in right pretty cool awesome so with that uh, done I'm just gonna hit tab edit go into face select I'm just gonna select this face guys the inside face and then just hit this plus hit new right and then hit assign that new material gets assigned to this specific face that's how you multi texture right uh, cool so let's go back to this which color palette was it that was this so I'm gonna select this now come here hex code paste go to object one there you go see look at that right always always whenever you work on a piece make sure you use a color palette and if you guys do not um, you know if you guys haven't uh, learned about color theory and stuff just use a website like the one I showed you right you guys don't have to start from the scratch it's it's not easy right so use what's already there and it should help you so I'm gonna select this middle uh, color here I'm actually gonna put that on my text right so i'm just gonna call this text and then click on this paste it here now that this one has it just select this text click on this text Control l and then link material and now if you click on this it also has the text one okay i'm gonna select the center uh the play button now let's give that another color right Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful. Okay, I'm going to select this deep red and then hit new. Call this the butt. Butt. And then uh, come here, set this red here. Oh. Oh, that is cherry, bro. Cherry. Okay. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Actually, we'll actually, you know, what the heck? Uh, we'll actually find out how it looks in the render. So I'm just applying normal colors for now, but then when we render it, we'll change the materials, make things look metallic and stuff. Okay, I think you'll get, you guys will like that. Oh, uh, while we are here, just select this. Oh, you know what? Here, go to solid so you can see. I'm gonna select this. Go to ever scroll, click on this, Control Q, settings shade solid hold shift click i just want this piece sharpen Ta-da! hide the cutters there you go now we have the middle piece of that right i'm just gonna come here go to wireframe you can see the depth of this i'm just gonna lower that break that lower that Solid, 
show me, show me, show me. Okay. Oh, cool. So basically this is floating, guys. It's actually floating in midair. Oh, great. I can't even see this, dude. I'm gonna have to switch on my frame. Okay. Press T. Y. Put this in the center. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, just another small piece there. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to go uh, do is go to material view. And guys, over here, what I wanted to do is select edit mode. Select, oh, you see that you can't select the inside faces of this because you, you know, it's still a non-destructive workflow. This bevel here is actually not put into the mesh. It's not cut out. It's just a visual thing. So click, uh, click on the mesh, go to Q and then go into add modifier and then maybe just go to operations and say smart apply. There you go. Now it's applied. Now if you go to edit mode, see, now it's actually cut into the mesh. So I'm just going to select this face, this face, this face, this face, and then add a new, the other part. And then just go here, because we have a lighter red here, we haven't used that. And, ta-da, object mode. Oh, did I apply the other part? Yeah, I did. Now, I, now it's done. Yeah, now it's lighter. Cool. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, but before we do anything else, I'm just gonna go into edit, select one, 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 hit control L, and it should select everything else linked to it. Is it all broken? Oh my God. Okay, control L. Now, and then control L. Now. Okay, now it's done. Uh, I'm just gonna hit new, come here, and then just select this, and then hit assign. There you go. Because I want the 500 to stand out. Edit. Wireframe. Select render this. You know, this is the smarter way of actually selecting it because this was like, this was a pain, you know. We selected like one, one, one. Go into material. Now that this is selected, open up. There you go. And that's it. Our play button is done. Okay guys, now what we can do finally is click on this, click on this, click on this, and click on this. Or maybe click on that. And then control J. Maybe just don't do that. <laughs> what happened? Why did... Oh dude, what? I don't know, something happened guys. The color of this change and stuff, I freaked out. I just hit Control Z really quick. Okay, here, let's do this. Just add an empty, plane axis, right? And then scale this, you see this? This is your plane axis. So I'm just gonna bring that out. Now, what we can do is select this, 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 and this, and then just select the axis, Control P, and then parent it. Oh, it moved. Uh, Okay, okay, everyone calm down. Just hit W so that we get rid of our um, hard ops menu. Select everything, Q. Origin to geometry, all transforms, object, apply all transforms as well. Wait, why is this moving, dude? Wait, now, now does it work? Yeah, now it works, perfect. So it just needed a center pivot. So now select that. Now if I move this, so I basically parented everything to the axis here, guys. So I can do anything with this and our button will work. Cool. Awesome. And now you see that uh, this is our render view here, right? So we shall press double R. Look at that. I can move in and move it and do anything. But let's do one thing. Let's just add a plane. 
scale that to 100 right select this let's be a little bit more cleaner so I'm just gonna hit 90 oh what am I doing select this select the you know the empty parent we made press R X no, Y 90 there we go G and C bring that up I'm just gonna tilt this and then tilt it just like that and you see this point here I'm just gonna hit G Z and then just like that so it just sits on the floor okay now what I can do is just move my camera here check this out oh look at that that's perfect okay and you can actually scale up the floor even bigger so let's just do that okay um so here's the thing while recording this is in vertical view right uh final view is gonna be horizontal so i'm just gonna select uh, this thing ud tv which is a preset there you go this is basically what you guys are seeing the horizontal youtube video now i can zoom out yeah if i go down now now it cuts off perfect so this is what i am designing for the thumbnail as well perfect awesome okay and what we can do is basically you can see the camera motion here so i'm just gonna put this back here right and then you can just zoom in and animate your play button and stuff and move it around because this does not have a stand at the back you guys can go ahead and add that because you're not gonna see it right in the render so we don't worry about it just save this for now go to solid view and now let's just light it awesome okay perfect now before i light i just want to go here render is all good go to render view Ta-da! you can see that now it's all dark right so for the first thing i'm just gonna go to hdri maker import e blender universe da, 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 da. uh where is it am i blind okay there you go studio let's select maybe this Oh wow okay oh before uh, we change it I think the first this needs to be zero and the HDR like this can control it there you go so I'm gonna put 1.5 right and I'm gonna import let's try something else how about this oh reaching for the skies uh, how do I can I change it Oh yeah, look at that guys. This is where you uh, change to change where the lighting is coming from. Oh my god. Our play button just saw Jesus. Okay, import uh gotta change that. Ooh. Okay. Where's your shadow though? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, what did we even try? Did we try all this? Oh, this is going to blow out even more, isn't it? Oh, no, it actually looks good. Hmm. That's weird. Where the heck are the shadows? Let me just turn it all the way. Oh, guys, we have no shadows, dude. This is great. Uh, how about this? Nah, how about this? Okay, that looks fine. Let's see if we can work with this. Oh look, it has a shadow, perfect. What if I move it back? Oh, that's too burnt out. 
Okay, you know what? Color mix will help if you increase this. There you go, see? It already helps, right? So we're just gonna put this to 0.5 and we'll use this HDR light very low as a fill light, okay? Let's just use it as a fill light for now. And hit this. Now you can see that it's a fill light with this, perfect. I'm going to go select this small piece here, go to materials, okay? Call this glow. Let's add a glow here. I think uh, that'll be really cool. Emission, look at that, see? It's glowing. Maybe 20? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Maybe 50 or even 10. Do you think it's blown up? Uh, five, five looks good, right? Yeah, it's glowing now. Cool, awesome. So what I wanted to do is this play button here, guys, right? It's the button, right? So what I wanted to do is just make this to glass. You see? Now it's glass, but then, wait, the color went. I need to copy this first. Copy that. Set it to glass, color. Change the glass color now. Ooh, okay, that's too dark, isn't it? Roughness? Oh, wow. Okay, it needs light, I guess. Yeah, it definitely needs light because it's glass now. So shift A, light, and we will select area. Right, I'm just going to go into wireframe for this. Disk. Just going to put that here. Turn it onto our play button. Just like that. Right? And we can point a little down. How about 200? Ooh, that's too less. 3000. Ah. Okay, now you can see it. Okay, so this thing, being a glass, is actually not helping. So I'm just gonna bring this back to principal BSDF. Give it its color. But we will make it metallic. Look at that. Okay, so we'll make it metallic and select light. Now, this can be pushed down. Mm, doesn't looks good. Okay, just bring it here. Shift D. Right there. Maybe push this to seven hundred. Get another light going here. Maybe push that back. Awesome. Cool. And select the frame. The frame needs to be metal as well. This can be metal. Wait, no. Let's give this like a very slight metal, but can we? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so our HDRI light is actually, uh, you, you can see the background of it. So I'm not gonna make it full rough, but you know, maybe something like that. Point oh five. Oh, that looks beautiful. And I just realized that our text needs to be a darker color. So let's do that. Maybe actually just reverse it. Right, and then hit metallic on it. There you go, perfect. Actually, select these two. Press S, and then lower this. It was extruded so much, guys, that it looked a little bit weird. So now I'm just gonna push this back to the surface. See, now it looks much better, right? It was because of the extrusion. Yeah, it was just extruded a lot. Okay, now it already reads well. And this one, I actually want to change it to the other one. Yeah, 
there you go and then even 500 change that to the other one right and then we'll make it metallic and then make it darker make it a darker red something like that I'll push it all the way to metal maybe put it to like 25 right we're just adjusting stuff here uh, there you go I mean it looks beautiful it does look beautiful uh, you can select this and then change the brightness if you want for that but yeah oh one last thing we can do is obviously give this floor some material and let's see give it a light Ooh. i mean this would be something again i would ask you guys but i think something cool like that something soft to the eyes right looks good and i think we're done i mean <laughs> i still can't believe it wait let me just zoom this out I can zoom back in on the final edit. There you go. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys, you know, can go haywire with this and change stuff and, you know, just keep creating new stuff uh, if you guys are running your own channels as well. But that's pretty much for this. Um, we did it. <laughs> we actually hit 500. Awesome. I'm so happy. Uh, so the goal for now is 1000 right so we will see if we can hit that anytime soon uh, I would try my best I'll be consistent till the end of this year hey hey it's not like I'm not gonna be consistent the next year okay I will I will but all I'm saying is I'm trying my best for this year and let's see if we can hit thousand before the year ends uh, that's pretty much it and Thank you guys for stopping by and you know just for support thank you it means a lot i love you guys take care bye bye have a nice uh day night afternoon just just go eat some food bye bye peace out